Uh, we're in MM3 at the moment, right? MM3. After looking at units of measurement, and then thinking about perimeter, area, and volume, now we're thinking about similarity. That was the, um, that was the title of this unit, if you recall. And similar shapes, remember, they're shapes that are exactly the same in terms of their features and their proportions, but they're just different size, right? Like really small things that look the same as really big things. And one of the most common places where we find similar figures in real life are scale drawings, like maps and that kind of thing, where you've got a drawing that you clearly want to be smaller than the real thing. Okay, so you can actually have a look at the map and not have to carry around, you know, something the size of Sydney. Okay. So, the idea of a scale drawing simply talks about this, this scale factor idea, something being compared to something else of bigger size. And so you just get a fraction, you get a ratio, right? So for example, if um, you've got a length on a drawing, you divide it by how long it actually is in reality, you might find that the drawing is one thousandth the size of the actual thing that it's representing, right? So you might see that scale written as a fraction, you might see it written as a ratio. Occasionally when you actually have a look at a map, sometimes because it's a little more kind of real world for us, they'll actually tell you the units too, which strictly speaking doesn't necessarily make them a ratio because we know they don't have units, but you will sometimes see a phrase like this. Um, what would be something like this? Okay, so one centimeter to 10 meters, if you recall, 10 meters is how many centimeters again? 10 meters? Uh, each meter is 100 centimeters, so therefore 10 meters, 1,000. So this, this is another way of saying one, two, 1,000. Does that make sense? So um, the idea of a scale is really simple to work with because we've been doing ratios and rates for so long. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. Okay? Stay with this fellow. If you've got a distance, you know it happens to be 1,600 meters, right? And you measure across the pages, like on, along the diagonal, and this is how far it is. How do we work out the scale? Well, come back to this guy. Right? This is just a simple definition for how to get the right ratio. I'm going to write down scale equals, and then I'm going to put down the small length on the top, big length on the bottom, right? The drawing versus reality. So here you can see which is which. I'm going to have 32 centimeters on the top and 1600 meters on the bottom. Okay? Now, that's the numbers with units. I'd like to simplify that because just like all ratios, I shouldn't really actually have units there. I've got centimetres and metres, I should change them both to the same. Which would you like me to change them to? Both to centimetres? I could do either way. I could change this to metres, and then they'd be both metres. I could change this to centimetres, and they'd be both centimetres. If we change it as you suggested, what do I have to do to this denominator? How would I write it differently? What am I going to have to multiply by? A hundred, right? A hundred centimetres. Here's a lot of zeros, it's okay. I mean, often having a lot of zeros is kind of the point because that way you can have a small map that represents a big thing. I've got centimeters on the top and the bottom now, so I can get rid of those guys and then I can just crunch this through with a calculator. I wonder if we can do it in our heads? It's not that hard. Think about it. Look, 32 and 16. They're really gonna have common factors, right? What can I divide through by? I can divide through by eight, that'll give me four and two. But that means I can go again. Actually, that's a multiple of 16, isn't it? So if I divide this by 16, I end up with 2. two. If I divide this by 16, that's just, that's just 1, okay? So this is 1 with 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros after it. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So, so this is 2 over uh, 10,000, sorry. There's 4 zeros, which means it's 1 over 5,000. So that's the scale, done. And of course your calculator can confirm that for you. So working out a scale is not too hard. Sometimes you know what the scale is. In fact, on a map, like I mentioned, usually right in the bottom right hand corner, you will find the scale that's provided to you. So maybe they tell you that, and you get your ruler out. Maybe you're, I don't know, walking on the Kokoda track or something like that. And you're like, how far am I actually gonna go? So your map shows this little, little distance, and you wanna know what is it in reality. So I'm gonna start just the same way I did before with the scale and these two things here with a slight difference. When I write this, scale equals, I have short length on the top, long length on the bottom. I know what the short length is, it's 18 millimeters, but I don't know what the length in reality is. 
So thankfully I have a whole branch of mathematics devoted to when I don't know what the number is. It's called algebra. So I'm just going to give it a name. I'll just call it alpha length. Okay. Now I actually know the scale as well. It's provided in the question. So rather than write it as a ratio, I'll write it as a fraction so these guys can talk to each other. So that's 1 over 250. And now perhaps you recognize I've got a fraction on the left, fraction on the right. So I can uh, cross multiply and get something just for L. L over here to the left. Um, I don't know what 18 times 250 is. Can someone find it for me? 18 times, I'll write it down. Four, thank you. Okay, now in theory I'm kind of finished. I do have a leg. Good morning. That's okay. Should we do that? Um, I am kind of done, but it's like we've said before. Oh, it's lots of zeros. I can probably simplify this down a little bit. What's the next unit up after millimeters? Mm. Centimeters, and there are 10 millimeters for every centimeter. So I could write this as 450 centimeters. I could probably go one more. The next unit up is meters. So that's, we've already said that's 100 to 1. So I could write that like so. Any of these would be fine. Um, you might find a question and it'll tell you up here, please provide your answer in meters, kilometers, whatever it happens to be. Okay?